Trojan horse variety. Not only local, but national press have condemned Tampa's police militarization. We need a city council that upholds its duty of oversight of government branches and agencies. Already, there are no answers to too many questions. Why did the means that cameras were procured not adhere to law? Why have police met officials privately devoid of public oversight? Why the double standard matters of public policy are dealt with privately, while individuals expecting privacy are to be surveilled all the time? These cameras were acquired under false assumptions of violent protest occurring. Why are we now asked to leave ourselves vulnerable to powerful, unregulated surveillance for which no oversight exists? Countless reports of illicit government surveillance surface. Right here in Tampa Bay, police cameras surveilled patrons of a legal licensed business and single-handedly branded them criminals. And now we are being asked to accept that public space be placed under a one-way mirror, that we be subjected to the humiliations of being on the wrong end of that virtual police lineup. And it's not only public spaces that are being stolen from us. We know of those photos taken off celebrities by the stalking boy or photographer zooming in from a mile away. Uh, we know of the reports of images of passengers and covered by the TSA's virtual strip search making their way on the internet. And so, inevitably, when one combines those two aspects, one concludes that cameras erected on poles 30, 40 feet high, cameras that some are now proposing be placed in exclusively residential neighborhoods, those places where when no one's visible, one experiences solitude, but would instead be forever watched like a Soviet or Castro-style police state. Cameras able to zoom in like drones to spy details that could call heads or tails on a penny. One concludes that eventually someone will aim those devices straight down the slanted slats of a bedroom or bathroom window. The person doing the watching will do so remotely, privately. Another proposal floated, selling out public streets to corporations. But look at the history of Facebook-style systemic incursions into privacy and the private browsing histories relentlessly amassed. I urge that you not incur more government debt to maintain the untenable costs of such a dark, unaccountable surveillance monolith.